Hi, this is Nika Sequel of the Swedish and Orthodox Black Death Metal band God and Machinery. And you are listening to The Bloodshed with the Vampire on Metal Messiah Radio International. Nicholas, thank you very much for taking time out for this interview and welcome to the Metal Bloodshed with the Vampire on Metal Messiah Radio International. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure to have you here, Nicholas. We did to interview Kill. I'm very happy to have you this time to do this interview. Thank you so much and thank you for having me. It's a real pleasure. God Hat Machinery is an unorthodox extreme metal constellation with the main purpose to analyze the ongoing political and religious greed and corruption that swallows all that can be eaten in this world. Nicholas, I want to congratulate you for the release of this great new album aligned to the grid just a couple weeks ago. Are you and the rest of the band happy and satisfied of this release? How is everything going now so far with this album? And I want to ask you if you guys have done a release party already. Thank you so much. We are extremely satisfied uh, with this album. It summarized uh, one and a half years of work and uh, we are really proud of the final result. Yeah, we just released it like, what is it, two weeks ago now and we have not seen any result yet. Yeah, some inputs from uh, here and there. It's really, really uh, well received. We have not had any release party yet. But we certainly want one. Perhaps we have it later this summer, I think. Very great. The song Alpha was the band's first single and was also took form as your first real music video as a band. How come did you or the band decided to convert this song as the band's first single and where was the video film? Yeah, we chose Alpha because it's that specific track summarizes our musical and uh, lyrical stride that we want to achieve with this album. It is aggressive and chaotic, but it also holds a lot of dynamics and depth. So it seems as a natural choice, actually. And the, the video is made in our rehearsal space. <laughs> That's a great, great video. I like it. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, talking what uh, the band has released an album, first album, which was Orburus on September 29, 2017. This was uh, via Inverse Records. Roburus is a seven-track onslaught that twists black metal and death metal together to create a chaotic, heavy, and neck-snapping sound with awesome tunes like I Still Remember, Praise the Flash, and the Council of Nasia. To say some, how has the album been in general for the band, Nicholas? It was well received after its release. And the really great thing about Orboros is it got us the show at House of Metal Festival that we played a month ago. But we are a small band and it's hard to keep an album alive when you are at our level. But it definitely put God and Machine on the map and it helped us uh, during the process with Align to the Grid. We are still enjoying uh, listening to this great album, songs like The Black Tight, A House Divided and the songs that I already mentioned.
The current lineup of the band is Nicholas Aguadillo on vocals, Robert Keel Carlson on guitars, Tommy Eriksson on guitars, Daniel Forsberg on bass, Marcus Anderson on drummer. The band just parted away with the guitarist Friedrich and has replaced him with Tommy. How was this transaction gone and are you still in communication with Friedrich? Yeah, most definitely. There's no hard feeling between us at all, so the communications with Fredrik are good. Fredrik had to leave because of a uh, shoulder injury, which left him basically no other choice than to quit playing guitar. Oh, that's uh, too bad. He's not doing anything for now then. Yeah, he's singing. He's singing a band called Murder In. He plays some guitar, but yeah, it's, it was his choice and was probably the best for him and us as a band. Uh, okay. Luckily for us, Tommy joined. He has a friend, he's an old friend to Kale, and he has a absolute beast on guitar, so we're happy with that. Okay, talking about the band uh, members, I remember when we did the interview for the release of the album Urburus, I guess that Kale has done all the vocals as well. And But uh, I think it was in 2017, after the band released this album, that you joined the band, right? Yeah, uh, well, actually I was recruited just before the release of uh, Ouroboros. But you didn't take part of in the record? No, not at all. It was just it, like a, a live setup. You could say. Okay, but how was uh, your introduction to the band, Nicholas? The drummer Marcus is an old friend to me, and we have played band for like, I don't know, 10, 15 years. We had a death metal band called Infuriate, and uh, when Kale uh, decided to record Ouroboros, he found Marcus on the internet, and they started to write to each other, and Marcus went there as a uh, studio uh, yeah, studio drummer. And after that, he, uh, he stayed and got the machinery, and got the machinery moved from a studio project to a band. And uh, Marcus told Kale that he knew a singer, and Kale was uh, searching for a singer. When uh, I heard the tracks from Ouroboros, and I was blown away. I loved the uh, Praise the Flesh and Tithe. It was all I ever wanted. So I went up to Norrköping, Sweden, and did an, what do you call it, like a tryout. Okay. Yeah, and we clicked. We clicked uh, the first rehearsal, and uh, I've been a part of the band ever since. <laughs> well, uh, I want to congratulate you and uh, welcome you to this great band as well. Oh, thank you. Okay, Swedish unorthodox black death metal band got machinery. Released the second album, A Lie to the Grit, that was uh, on April 5th, 2019, a couple weeks ago by Inverse Records. The album started with the song Tight 2, which describes the tailor made religious dynasty of corruption and exploration of their mislead followers and allow leaders to revel in wealth and power in God's name. Nicholas, could you present us the tracking list and describe the rest of the album, please? Sure. A Line to the Grid contains 10 tracks with a lot of variation and dynamic. The main theme is and always will be the anti-religious and defiance against corrupted political systems that are based on religious law. Type 2, Alpha, Illusion, Above a Legion of Equals are examples of tracks that explain their corrupted hypocrisy. Basically, we want people to open their eyes and start thinking for themselves. And that is the main goal of God and Machinery. Talking about the title track, we find song number one, uh, Tight uh, 2. It's like a continuation of the Tight 1 on uh, Ouroboros. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought so. I really didn't read the lyrics that yet to follow what happened on this second chapter of this song. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the same goals and the same direction as the first one. That's why we call it the Tithe 2.
aligned to the great is a much more dynamic album compared to Orburus, but the production sounds very professional while the lyrics cover the corruption of both politicals and religion along with some extensional touches. With Ouroboros, everything was done by Kyle and Marcus. But how has the songwriting and recording gone this time with the new members, you and all the other members, Nicholas? Really good, actually. Uh, Kyle is still is uh, he still is the mastermind uh, for sure. Uh, we will never. It is his band. It is. But this time we had five inputs instead of two which provides to the overall dynamic of the album. You all probably know him as Devo, the bass player in Marduk, but he is also the owner of In Darker Studio Sweden with 20 plus years of experience burning dedication to music and state of art equipment. You can be assured that your band album will sound fucking killer. How was the production for the album gone at In Darker Studio with Devo? And what has you done differently this time at this studio compared to what the band has done with the debut album Ouroboros at Milk Studio with Magnum Johnson? Yeah, the production worked out real smooth. Devo is easy to work with and... He's a season pro within the studio world and the black metal scene. So that is, I would say that is the biggest change, I would say, from Ouroboros to uh, Align to the Grid. This time we worked as a we worked as a band. Okay, very great. Got had machinery release the second album, uh, Align to the Grid, yeah. on April 5th, as I said before, 2019, by this Finnish record label Inverse Record. The band's second album throughout this inverse record. Are you guys happy with the support what they have been giving you guys so far? We have learned to know Yoni from Inverse Records since the release of Ouroboros. And uh, he is a really easy guy to work with, for sure. They definitely do the part of the contract. But of course, we are an ambitious band and we have big ambitions and visions. And we always want more, of course. But yeah, we are happy with Inverse Records. Do you think it's going to be a third album via uh, this Finnish record label? I don't know, actually. It depends on uh, what kind of deals we're going to get from other from the other labels or yeah, what, what can we <laughs> get from it, actually? <laughs> I know it's too early to, <laughs> to ask this question, but you never know. Maybe you guys already had a commitment for the third album. Yeah, of course. And if like labels like Season of Mist or Peace We Records or uh, Nuka Blast or something like that, hear this, you know where to <laughs> call us. Okay. Awesome artwork done again, this time for the singles Alpha and Type 2. And the album cover for A Light to the Grip, all done by Robert Kale Carlson. Just as the cover artworks done uh, in 2017 for the single Praise the Flash and the Council of Nicaea. And uh, the Ouroboros album cover artwork was very great on. What can you tell us about the three new cover artwork done for A Light to the Great and the singles? It's like I said before, it's uh, the anti-religious theme is the main theme, the theme of We Are The Machinery. This is also represented in the artwork, of course. And uh, actually, I don't want to say too much about it because I want the listener to think for their own and build their own perspective. But they're all uh, very gorgeous artwork. I must congratulate Robert for this great, outstanding job. Yeah, it's great. He could do that for a living if he wanted to. He's not doing it for any other bands? No. Only us. Okay. The band perform at House of Metal early March in Umia, Sweden, with great bands like The Haunted, Tark, Necrophobic, Rotten Price, and many more. How has the band presentation at this festival, House of Metal, been, and how did the fans react to the new songs? Oh, his House of Metal was fucking great, man. Uh, lots of metalheads, it was professional stuff, the sound was perfect. It was a great atmosphere, indeed. And just like the other band you mentioned, they're fucking great lineup. 
you guys stay the two nights? Two nights, yeah. Okay, but you only play on one night, right? Yeah, we we played at midnight on the on the Saturday. On the Saturday. Yeah. Uh, this is the first time I hear about this festival. Is it a big festival? Two thousand visitors. It's an indoor festival in the north of Sweden once every year. Yeah. They have existed for I think it is thirteen years. Uh, yeah, it's great lineup. Great place to be. But how do you feel uh, the fans reacted to the new song, especially? I think the reactions were really good. We had a lot of people coming up and talk to us after the show, and uh, most of the crowd had never heard us before. So it was, yeah, it was a great victory for us as a band. Okay, that's very good to hear. Niklas, what else will the band be doing for the rest of the year in support of this great new album and any European tour schedule? Right now we are building it up the web store so we can sell all the merchandise and uh, vinyls and CDs to to the world, actually. We also look in, uh, looking into tours and shows. Of course we want to do that, but we need the right promotion and we need the right bookers to make this happen. My last question, are there are already new t-shirt made for a light to the grid and what other merchandises are there made available we have an ouroboros patch and as you said we have just printed a line to to the grid t-shirt uh, ouroboros cd and soon they align to the grid on vinyl it's going to be a gate full of vinyl and we waiting for it to arrive to sweden right now and as i said we're working on the web store so we can offer all this to you any special packages digital package yeah we will have it will be separate items but i think we will do a package like a package deal of it so you can buy one aligned to the grid vinyl with a t-shirt and uh, also get um, a patch do you guys have yeah band camp that people can you know already start uh, doing uh, their order um, place in their order that's uh, we are building that right now you're mailing that okay yeah so it's a question of uh, just get the economy right okay so nicholas i uh, want to thank you very much to make uh, this interview possible and i want to hand you over the microphone of madam messiah radio for you to invite all your fans all your friends to support the bands to buy the early album Ouroboros and to buy this new great album Ally to the Grid and to buy your merchandises and attend the shows you guys have that are coming soon to be announced okay thank you so much for supporting God and Machinery and if you don't haven't heard about us before check out our Spotify like us on Facebook and Instagram and we will make sure I will come to a city near you okay thank you niklas and i want you all out there come on look this band up god had machinery and if you don't have their music as yet you have to put your hand on these great albums first of all the one that they released 2017 Ouroboros with great tracks great seven track album and i highly highly recommend this new album a line to the grit album just released a couple of weeks ago on april 5th so you need to give this band the support listen to this great album it's easy you can just go on youtube try to listen to the new songs uh, tight 2 and alpha and then you can discover this band and i'm sure after hearing these songs you're gonna go right away get the album this new album because this is an album you must have in your collection. I wish you all the best, Nicholas, with this great new album. And I want to say hello to Robert Kiel Carlson. I want to say hello to Tomic Erickson, to Daniel Forsberg, and also to Marcus Somliga Anderson. Okay. And as I always say, Metalon. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>